a thread by Rex at social.quadvirum.com. Just my opinion, but I think there's a good chance Biden will concede. By Trump's inauguration, Biden may well be under indictment. Either way, Joe Biden will never be president. Why? Joe Biden is a national security threat. That's why he's a Chinese Communist Party asset. So I think Trump's strategy is to allow the process to roll out in the expectation that it will result in his victory. However, if the process doesn't work, Trump will use his power as president to do his duty. Protect the Constitution and Republic. Biden can play pretend president all he wants and fake news can fawn. Fine by me. Virtually no one is listening to them and no one takes them seriously. Just check out the ratings. They all exist in a delusional make-believe world. Liberal la-la land. You can feel free to buy into their drama. I sure won't be. In reality... Things are getting worse for these crooks every passing day. Their problem is this. The scale of their crime is too widespread for them to contain. Consider where we were just a week ago to now. Incriminating evidence, video, audio, witness, documentary is pouring in every single day. It piles up higher and higher. This is nationwide. It's unprecedented. And it's going to keep building in volume and intensity each passing day. It cannot be contained. The evidence won't just stop. Not just that. Consider Giuliani and Powell keep dropping hints about evidence that we have yet to see. Sidney Powell is about to file her Kraken lawsuit, which I think will rock America. Big money lawsuits, Amistad, have just started joining private lawsuits by citizens. Trump hasn't even begun to play his cards yet either. He has been wisely keeping them back. The ones we know about are Durham, D-Class, Biden China, Clinton emails, not just that. You need to consider that, in my opinion, Trump has likely trapped these sons of bitches and has smoking hot evidence catching them in election fraud in real time. God knows what else Trump has that we don't know about. You can forget about how Biden, the Dems, and their apparatchiks are acting. Why? They don't know what Trump knows. By that, I mean... They have zero access to the intelligence Trump and his close confidants have. All they have is hot air caused by fake news and a fake election. By contrast, have you noticed how all the people who know the truth are smiling, confident, and zen? Trump, Pompeo, Pence, Flynn, Giuliani, etc., Trump's inner circle, if they'd lost, would they be acting in this way? No, of course not. As for fake news, you know my thoughts about these so-called media. I think many people overestimate their influence these days. They can squawk all they like. Soon, the evidence will be so damning that even they won't be able to contain it. For the diminishing number of people who watch them, that is, always remember, Trump is POTUS. Trump has agency. Trump has a track record of winning. Stop the panic and fear-mongering. Trust Trump. And let Trump play this out as he is doing. His approach is perfect. Each day builds pressure on the criminals. More of them are exposing their criminality each day. Trump will have a timeline that he is working to, and at exactly the right time, he will pull the metaphorical pin and roll his grenades right into the enemy foxhole. Then, boom. Trump is the master at this. He has proved himself to be time and time again. 
Just watch and learn. You can see where this is all heading for China Joe and his cronies. Many are going to a house, all right. But it ain't called the White House, that's for sure. They're all trapped. The great thing is that many of them seem to have worked it out, haven't seemed to have worked it out yet. MAGA.